Today, we are going to be writing the formula for the ionic compound copper 2 nitrate. So let's work from left to right. The first thing that I see is copper. I'm going to scan the periodic table to see where copper is. And I find it. Copper is right over here on the periodic table. Copper is represented by a Cu. So I know that I have a Cu. But now here's the thing. When we're writing formulas, we usually have a charge in the upper right hand corner. But with transition metals, which is what copper is, right? Transition metals are in this box over here. They could have multiple charges. So what charge am I going to use? Oh, that's why they give me the Roman numeral. Remember, the Roman numeral is the charge of the metal. So in this case, I have a 2. So I know that copper is going to be a plus 2 charge. And I know that it's positive because all metals are positive, never negative. I move over to nitrate. I see that it has an ATE ending, and all ATE endings are always polyatomic ions. And polyatomic ions are never found on the periodic table. You have to memorize them. So for the sake of the video, I just wrote down what nitrate is, but use flashcards, do whatever you gotta do to just know that nitrate is NO3 with the negative one charge. Now, since we have both components, we just do this little trick where we crisscross the charges down just to see how many of each we need. This plus two crisscrosses down, telling me that I need two nitrates. And then this negative one crisscrosses down, telling me that I just need one of the copper. When you do this crisscrossing, don't worry about the charges anymore. Just use the subscripts as like counting numbers and you don't even have to worry about the positive or the negative. Now we're ready to write our formula. So I got copper, Cu. I only have one of them, so I don't have to write this one here. But now I have two nitrates. I have more than one polyatomic. If you have multiple polyatomics, you need to put the whole polyatomic in parentheses. So I got to put parentheses, NO3, close the parentheses, and now I say how many I need. I need two of them. And now we are done. So copper 2 nitrate is CuNO32. And that's it. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Love talking to you guys. I hope you're having a great day. Keep studying hard. You guys got this. And if you want to check out the channel, we also have many other different chemistry topics for you guys. All right. We have gram to mole conversions. We got stoichiometry. We got limiting reagents or limiting reactants, balancing, you name it. We probably got it. So go check the channel out. All right. I will see you all in future lessons. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.